Want this? Prepare your clips on the beats, and then enable frame blending for your layers by double-clicking here. Pre-compose your layer by pressing Select the second option, make sure this box is checked, and press OK. Do the same for all the remaining clips. Now, select your first layer, and search for Twixter Pro. Uncheck this option, then in FPS, set the value exactly the same as your clip's FPS. In my case, the clip is 23.976, so I'll copy the same number into input frame rate. Now, follow my settings. In speed, change the value to 120 and set a keyframe. Go to the middle of your clip and change it to 35. At the end, set it to 110. Select all the keyframes, press F9, then open the graph. Hold Shift and drag this handle to the right, and this one to the left. Copy the Twixter and paste it onto all the other layers. Check the keyframes and make sure they match the full duration of each clip. For the zoom, select your first layer, search for Blurmo curves, and follow my settings. Add a keyframe for Zdist, then go to the end of your clip and change the value to 0.75. Select the keyframe, press F9, and adjust the graph the same way. Finally, copy Blurmo curves and paste it onto the other layers. For a zoom out, add Blurmo curves again. Use the same settings as before. Make a keyframe for Zdist, set it to 0.75. Go to the end of your clip and change it back to 1. Select the keyframes, press F9, and apply the same graph as before. Then copy Blurmo curves and paste it onto the other clips. All the settings are the same as before. This time I'll just explain the speed and graph. Add a keyframe for speed. Set the value to 200. Go to the end of the clip and change it to negative 190. Press U to see the keyframes, then select them, press F9, and adjust the graph to match mine. Now, Twixtor is complete. Zoom part. Add Blurmo curves with the same settings as before. Add a keyframe for Zdist and set the value to 0.75. Go to the end, Press U and add a keyframe. Make sure the start and end values are the same. Now go to the middle and change the value to 1. Select the keyframes. Press F9. Open the graph editor and copy my graph. Final step. Copy all effects from your first layer and paste them onto the remaining layers. Adjust the keyframes if they don't match the length of your clips. In my case, they're aligned perfectly. For microwave edits, keyframes must be perfectly synced, so always double check and adjust. And that's it for this tutorial. Hope this helped, and if it did, don't forget to drop a like. Comment below what you want to learn next, CC or something else. If you want to learn some unique transitions, check out this video. Be creative. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.